do I think mobile apps are going to continue in relevance and increase in relevance? Yeah, absolutely. And from our experience, the majority of our customers' engagement with the app is on their phone. Let's talk mobile apps. So when you're in the high-level ecosystem, your first experience is usually the desktop app. This just means it's the thing you go to app.gohighlevel.com. And you can, you can white label that. So you can white label the app. And so the thing that you log into on a computer and you can log in on your iPad and you can actually technically use it on your phone has your brand in the URL. They also give everyone what they, they call like a gray label hosted application. This is like in a store. So iOS, Android store, you download it from the store, this application. Gray label means it's like trying to assume no brand. It's like it was designed to be brandless and their brandless name is Lead Connector. So there's a Lead Connector app inside of the Play Store in the iOS store and your customers can use this. It will uh, determine where they have access based on their, you know, their email and their password. It'll take the data from your, your branded, you know, your, your branded app and display it there in the lead connector app. They also offer, they call it white labeled, um, iOS and play, uh, or an Android apps. And so this would be truly your app. And so for many years, this has been a little bit of a weird zone. So when we started off, you know, the backstory of our, our, um, our usage in high level. We had a branded app for ourselves for the first year we were inside of high level. And this weird thing happened. They're a young fledgling company. It was a very manual process. We had to like give them access into our, our developer accounts inside of the Play Store, inside of the iOS, and they would have to manually go in there, like log into our account to uh, to update this this app like or to do any changes. And so what right. we noticed is they would come out with an update or a new release or whatever it is, and they would release it to the gray label version, the lead connector app, and then it might take days, weeks, month <laughs> to get the update in our version. And so if there was like, if the update was fixing an issue, then it was especially painful. You're like, ah, the issue's fixed over there in the free version. Why are we paying to have you know this work worse in, in a sense? And so we then abandoned it. It wasn't that we couldn't afford it or justify it. It was just like, it was a perverse experience. You're like, I'm paying more for a worse experience. I love the branded nature of it. I just, it was a friction thing. Um, well, recently... I, I got to get looped into their dev team. We kind of like were reminiscing over this experience. And what I, I didn't know is around that same time, so this would have been like middle of 2020 into 2021, anybody who was coming on that side, High Level actually invented their own software process so that they could do mass updates across multiple developer accounts. They had to like pioneer this wow. idea because there was kind of like a, a shared interface here. Uh, There's common threaded stuff and unique stuff you did to deploy in the store there. I didn't get to live through that experience. I only had that frictional that, that slow process. So, uh, they'd said even, so back then they sped up the process. Um, but still the question was like, okay, is this is as valuable as possible? And so we got looped back into the picture because they have now made dramatic strides into what it looks like to have your own branded mobile app. And, uh, one of the cool things is you can actually add custom elements to your white labeled app. So if you have a white labeled app, you can put custom icons, custom things. You can actually even have custom integrations as part of the app. And so one of those custom integrations is us running support. So uh, HL Pro Tools now can run support inside of a white labeled high level app. So directly in there, they can have like a support icon. They click on it and they're chatting with our team in the same mobile app experience, which is super cool. I was just thinking, so before the white label, like white label app really just meant it was lo it was your logo. It was just your maybe logo. Maybe your colors, yeah. maybe like some basic, but it wasn't custom. You weren't choosing what's in there. And now you have the ability to, you know, bring in your support and do other things like that. And yeah. That's pretty yeah. powerful. So, so now they've, uh, they've made super upgrades here. It's really actually cool and phenomenal. And they're actually saying like, there's so many of these things because the use case is unique. We, we've experienced this yeah. too. You're in like a weird little space. You're inventing things just for yourself because who else has that same problem? And there's not a lot of other app developers who are like, how do I essentially have the same base code deployed over thousands of individual developer accounts? It's just like not a, a common problem. So they had to invent their own solutions for it. And so it's like nested apps almost like you need like, okay, we have an app and within it, we need sub apps. <laughs> and so that's kind yeah. of what they've now even uh, pioneered further. So now you can, you can customize your app in terms of like you could hide or show or change 
the i you know the kind of the bottom row icons the the hamburger menu uh so, sort of access thing so those two points of of access inside of the mobile app which you can now customize inside of high level so you won't see this unless you've upgraded to have the white label mobile app but now the white label mobile app experience is actually super cool you can actually edit add things in there and you can deploy updates yourself so now you're, you you don't have to wait so which kind of makes sense right because if i add something yeah. new to it i don't have to uh i don't i don't have to like wait for high level to come up with an update in, right. in four weeks i can be like deploy there's the update and so it is so much more flexibility versatility and in in my mind rewarranted this white label app and so it, as far as like upgrades go in the high level ecosystem is one of those funny things where I was like excited about it initially. And then I was like, in practicality, I was kind of bummed. I was like, I always, I would love to get high. I love to give high level as much money as possible. And uh, it was just the place where I was like, I just, I'm going to say no, because it felt like it was a better experience than the gray label. And now they've kind of like flipped the, the pendulum so that um, I could see way more folks justifying this because it is nice. It's your holistic brand that helps right. from like an SEO perspective. They helps from like, from having a from having a brand, right? Just imagine all the things that any other regular business brand would have. This is one of those uh, dimensions that builds value for your brand. And so even if you're, for instance, if you're, if you're a franchise, let's say McDonald's, clearly a franchise. If you own a McDonald's franchise, I think they mandate some of this stuff. But if you had a McDonald's franchise that didn't have a drive-through, like, that's oh, still a McDonald's franchise. It's all the same food. But then it's like, if you do have a drive-through, that's better. Like it's just definitively better. And even, and if you sold it, they'd be like, wow, what a cool asset. Like you have a drive through, not just a fast food restaurant. Like it's the thing that makes the whole experience better. And so I kind of see that as, is that this kind of those, uh, refining. So it's like, cool, you've got this white labeled, you know, private labeled app that you can use for your community, your customers having the desktop is like, that's the meat of it. That's the meat and potatoes. Right. Like it's, that, that's what you need that to survive. But having a branded mobile app is kind of like having the drive through that layer of convenience. I'll say for our users, the majority of their actual experience and time with high level or with our version of it is actually on the mobile app. So oh, that yeah. was the that was the irony of it is so for so many business owners, they actually just want to run it all from their phone where right. they want to have visibility on their phone. Um, and now you can make it very flexible, very versatile and start to differentiate what that looks like. This is one of those examples of when they launched with a skateboard and you were excited about it, but you realized this actually isn't functional enough for me. And now that it's at a higher level, right at a car or an airplane or whatever, you're like, now this is doing what I want it to do for my clients and, and for my subscribers. What would you say when someone is starting in their SaaS journey and they're building up their business in, in, in high level, there's so many different levels of like cost and expenses and when they need to invest into things. Yeah. Where would you say is that tipping point for someone to say, hey, it's time for you to go white label instead of use the gray label? It's a great question because if you're if someone's listening and they're like, is this right for me? Is this ready now? Like many things in life, there's a consideration of resources, right? There's resources and resourcefulness is kind of the thing there. And it'd be like same thing. If I'm if I'm starting a franchise, should I put put in a drive through? You'd be like, well, it will probably actually help you get more customers. Like it, the experience, it will help you do that. But if you're like bare bones and scraping by, like, well, it's not essential. You know, like there are plenty of restaurants that exist that don't have drive throughs So like, that's not the essential piece of it. And so it really comes down to like to budget. If you look at this yeah. and someone was like, hey, high level for the year, all in, you know, let's say 10,000 bucks. And you'd be like, oh, game on, let's do this thing. Like I, I was, I was considering the McDonald's franchise, which was $250,000. And you're telling me $10,000 and I'm, I'm all in and I'm good. Uh, and you're like, absolutely. Then I'd be like, yeah, just you'll, you'll be stoked. You'll, this will actually yeah. become a point of differentiation for you. Now, if you're like, Matt, I, there's no way I could invest that kind of, I, I, I can't even imagine budgeting that for this year. And you're like, okay, that's cool. This you're in a zone where it's, it's nice that there's way more, access to start and to, to be resourceful. And then I'd be like, okay, so then just pay. You're not even paying annual plans here, right? You're thinking of like monthly, I can invest <laughs> hundreds of dollars a month. What I'd encourage you then, if you're, if you're really going to like, you know, test it there is I'd be like, cool, get, talk to me, get a free 30 day trial of, uh, of, uh, high level. You got 30 days for free. So you're at nothing. Right. And then I would go as hard as possible in those 30 days to make it so that 
for the next month, it's a no brainer that you have, you know, these things in there. Yeah. So that sounds to me like it's probably one of the high, what I'm hearing from you is this is one of the higher level priorities to differentiate, set, create stickiness, do all these things for, for your SaaS. And so this is probably the first time I've heard you prioritize something this high. I flipped it. Well, so the, 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 here's the interesting. Like there's a lot we could go into a different, yeah. actually we will. Everyone check sure. out my other podcast if you want to hear my conversation about things that are trendy, but I think should not be prioritized. But in this sense, do I think mobile apps are going to continue in relevance and increase in relevance? Yeah, absolutely. And from our experience, the majority of our customers' engagement with the app is on their phone. So I just like, I, this is more so like an honest reflection of the differences. I would have told you like, hey, don't worry about it. Just just promote the Lead Connector app. Actually, I, I used to say, it's like, I love the idea of having your brand there. Like it is a good and beneficial thing. It was just for us. If getting your brand meant a worse product, then I would sacrifice, I would prioritize product over brand. Now it seems in a place where actually you can make the product better and have your brand. And so, yeah, as far as like at, I mean, it's also like, there's not a lot of things you can like, add on here. So we're like, right. you know, it, it's, it's what can you afford? And then if you can afford it, is it worth prioritizing? And I'd be like, do your customers use their phone? Like, yeah, I, I would gamble. Yes. And I'd actually say, look at other applications that are, uh, um, let's say compared or, or alternatives in, in the marketplace. The ones that are mobile app based in their utilization are the hardest to shift from. The ones that are not are the easiest to shift from. And so we've, that's not, that's not by accident. No. Stickiness, it, when, when you have, yeah, and what people are va like utilizing on their phone, utilizing on desktop, like the more points of use, the more sticky. Abs I like absolutely. It. And it's, a, it's just like, it, it, it's always the, you know, what's the best camera? The one that you use. And that turns out to be yeah. your phone a lot of times. So it'd be like, what's the best version of your app? Like the one that you use. If you go, if you have mobile and then you can proudly like champion that all the time and advocate for that and their experience, they start to even associate as like, oh, they're going to associate the automations being run from their phone that actually even feels more magical, right? That it's, it's so right. capable, even though, you know, it's like, oh, no, you just set this up on your, you know, desktop there. Yeah. If their majority engagement is on their phone, I think it, it creates a lot of stickiness. And, and I think, um, yeah, my, I'm saying my, my song has changed. And kudos to the the high level dev team for uh, they they I told them I was like wow you you opened my eyes and changed a bias that I've carried for uh, for a number of years. I love this high level hot take because it is a hot take. It's a change. I love hearing change. Like I had an opinion, now my opinion is different. Um, so it sounds like anyone you know. I love and I like your reminder that if you're just getting started to reach out to Matt to get your uh, get your trial. If you want, if <laughs> there's other great affiliates out there, but like I, that's how I would hack it. I would take a 30 day free trial and I would I would I would hustle and be resourceful. Yep.